All right, you guys, so we're going to check out how to make this really cool brush text here in Illustrator inspired from James. And he also did it with pencils, and I wanted to try it out how it's going to look in a text. All right, so in this situation, we're going to need two things. We're going to need the text, and then we're also going to need a subject. So I'm going to go with this pencil. It's already stylized. And as you can see, the outlines are still made of strokes. So you're going to need to have these in strokes, and then you got the fill, and then select all of it and right-click to group. All right, so we're going to need to create a brush out of this, but we're going to need to make it in a way that is going to stretch only this section here. Otherwise, it is going to stretch the whole thing, something like this. So what I'm going to do is let's go to the brush here, and I'm going to drag and drop the pencil into the brush. Here I'm going to go and select the art brush, click OK, and now here we're going to need to select the stretch between guides. Click on it. And here you can see the numbers start and end. You can increase or decrease. And as you can see, it is going to move this lines. You also can drag it and it's going to move it. So basically it's going to start stretching it from here. And then I also gonna drag the right one here. So it's gonna stretch this specific area. And then the left and the right side is going to remain intact. So let's go and click okay. And let's go to the text. Or you also can go and select the brush tool and I'm just going to demonstrate it to you. I'm going to select the pencil brush and just do it like that. And as you can see, it is creating everything correctly. All right, so let's go to the text. I'm going to select all the text and I'm going to select the brush with the pencil. So I'm going to go and decrease the thickness. Let's go to the stroke thickness, decrease it. I think this size is actually pretty good. So I'm going to go right click on group. And you can customize some of the areas which don't look great. So I'm going to select the direct selection tool here. And I'm going to need to search for the spine. So this is the spine. And I'm just going to drag it. And this way you can customize and correct. Now it looks way better. Now we're going to have this issue right here. But it's not complicated to solve. So I'm going to select it. Press Ctrl C. Then Ctrl F. So it's going to position a copy on the top. And I'm going to double click on it. So it's going to isolate it. And with the direct selection tool, I'm going to go and remove these areas. So it's going to basically remain with this section. And I'm going to remove the letter E and the top part of the letter R. So it's going to remain with this section. I'm going to double click the release. I'm going to select the rectangle and drag a rectangle here. I'm going to press and hold shift, select this shorter pencil, right click. And let's go and select make clipping mask. And take a look at that. And pretty much that's how you make this a really cool brush where the endings are intact and they are not stretching. Thanks for watching.